Good afternoon, Jason here from Bohemia Bees. And uh, it's a Sunday afternoon and we're doing some cleanup here in the uh, workshop here in the apiary. Uh, we're gonna talk about bee comb today. You know, there's all sorts of uh, bee comb. If you're a beekeeper, you have a lot of it that you, uh, you accumulate uh, just through the processing of your honey, uh, whether it be the cappings off of a frame that you've harvested, uh, or you've done a cutout, uh, or you had a, a dead out hive, a hive that didn't survive, that you might have some old comb that you wanna, you wanna toss. Uh, it's good to render down that comb every once in a while. You know, it, it actually takes a lot of resources for bees to, uh, to build this comb out, uh, to draw comb out as you see here in this, and use it for whatever they need it for, whether it be stores, putting honey stores in or, or laying their brood uh, and having the brood's nest. So you wanna be very um, diligent about managing your combs within your apiary. Naturally, uh, some beekeepers will replace their combs every year. Other beekeepers will let them go for you know five, six, seven, even sometimes 10 years. There's some older beekeepers that will let them go for very long. Every year, the comb that's in the colony will get darker and darker. Here's an example of you know, some comb that's been drawn out from two different points in time. You see how light this one is versus this one. Now, this could be a difference because they stored more honey in this one and, and they had brood in this one. Brood tends to have a little bit of a darker uh, look to it. Um, there's a casing that the, the bees will put inside the, uh, the actual chamber of the, the hexagonal chamber that you see here where they lay their brood uh, in the nest and that's to protect the brood as the uh, brood actually uh, emerges and actually um, develops with inside the actual honeycomb, a casing shell, much like a, a butterfly cocoon, uh, is formed on the inside of that, that honeycomb wax. So when you look at taking some of this out, it's not always pure wax. There are little casings that get caught up. And we show that in one of our videos when we're rendering beeswax of how you have to kind of melt the wax out of it and not the casings. Uh, and throw those casings away um, or use them you know just for uh, various uh, you know kind of uh, nutrients in your garden you can kind of toss them in your garden and such uh, but today we're going to show you we just took these stack of frames out of the freezer because it's the easiest way to, to kind of clean up a frame uh, we put our frames that are not being used immediately after they come out of the hive in the freezer we do that for a period of 36 hours 48 hours we just leave them in there for a few days that freezing temperature kills off any eggs or pests that could have been in the frame. Uh, for example, if the wax moth has laid some eggs within the cavities of the frame or the nests of the frame or burrowed through and laid some eggs, that freezing temperature for that period of time will kill that off. And you don't have to worry about then it re-emerging at a later point inside of a colony. Um, in the, the summer months uh, or early spring months, you don't have to worry about it. The wax moth isn't very predominant nor is the, the small hive beetle but as you get into the summer and the fall months you know an open comb like this and a dead hive is a major attractant for pests like the wax moth and the hive beetle they really like this old comb with pieces of pollen still stuck in it and maybe some remnants of, of honey or nectar inside it um, so what I'm going to do today is just show you really quickly what I'm, I'm kind of cleaning off if you have a frame that has old comb um, you know, we're gonna melt and render this down. We have a video I'll put in the link in the description of how we render this down using our steam melting wax, steam wax max, steam wax melter that we put together. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some of the additional comb off these. The difference with this kind of comb is this is free form comb, right? So this has been drawn out nat throughout the naturally and this actually will have a foundation to it. The purpose of a foundation is really to allow the bees to consistently build out comb on a frame and not draw it out in sort of its own kind of sporadic pattern. It gives it a more surface area for the bees to actually uh, to work on. So what I'm gonna do now is show you, once it's frozen, it's a lot easier to scrape off. And you can just take your angle part of your hive tool and run it along the actual foundation. And that comb, along with those casings, and the wax will come off and you can use that opportunity to clean up the rest of the frame as well And 
So what I'll do with this frame when I, before I put it back in a hive, if it doesn't have a good coating of wax on it, I'm gonna roll wax on it, melt some wax down and roll it on it to give them a good starter base to work from. Uh, but we'll go ahead and continue along with cleaning up these frames, scraping the foundation in preparation to melt down this wax and render it. Pretty easy process, something you can get your kids or other uh, young adults who get involved in the beekeeping can help with. Not really a hard task. They can't really mess it up. You just have to get it, just get it clean. And the freezer, in the freezer really helps because it's almost very brittle after it comes out of the freezer. So it's not as waxy. Here's one with a little bit more darker comb. There's some pollen in the bottom of that. Good pollen in there. If you get a lot of pollen in your uh, wax, it'll give it a nice smell. All right, we'll just continue on cleaning these frames and uh, we'll get them ready for the, uh, to put it in our, uh, see all that, that wax now is in here be melted and render down. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see on our channel, um, or if you have suggestions on how do you do it and it works for you, definitely comment below. Uh, we definitely encourage positive comments. Um, if you got constructive criticism, we accept it. But if they're negative comments, we'll likely delete them. So, but definitely get on the uh, YouTube channel here. Follow us on uh, all our other social media platforms. We're on TikTok. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. But definitely follow us uh, and, and learn about, about the bees as we learn every single day here at Bohemia Apiary, where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone.